Well, it's Sunday morning and got the main path finished yesterday. Oscar's on that. And now we're just going to set out the paths between our beds. Just want to mark it out so we have, um, so we so we can start planting really. So that's the third wheelbarrow. Not getting warm already. So this is the bed, uh, not the bed, this is the path that we got in yesterday. It's um it's a mixture of wood chip and gravel actually. Which which is fine because it'll just add to drainage. Oh, there's Oscar. What's up boy? What do you want? You want a stone? Okay, there you go. So this is how the path looks and obviously the idea is that this path will lead to the stairs. We have uh, 11 lavender bushes to put in over here which will add a bit of colour. A grass seed is in here and it rained last night which I'm happy about. I think I might put a bit of a, a red clover mix in as well just for a bit of colour. And the polytunnel is going to go here. There'll be a gap here of about five meters, I think. And that, that'll just be for, I don't know, to be decided. <laughs> so this is hopefully roughly where the start of the polytunnel will be. Um, this is gonna be a small bed. This area here is just going to be herbs. That's the plan. So we're just marking out the paths with the wood chip from the front, which is great. And yeah, so the idea is the paths in between the beds will be a bit smaller than the width of the main path and this path here in front of the polytunnel. And um, yeah, Ellie's doing a great job. <laughs> we will need a thicker than that, you know that. First, let's see how far the wood chip is going to take us. Yeah, okay. And after that, we can add to it. All right. That was I, would, I would like to have this wood chip to give us at least the base of the path. Yeah. I mean, I was probably overly generous with the, the main path yesterday, but it is going to be the main path. Well, I think you did a good job with that. What do you think, Chief Inspector? Alright, I'm going to put you down and then see how we get on. We are at the end of a long work day, a long Sunday work day, although we don't really consider it to be work. Work is what happens between Monday and Friday. This is fun, isn't it so, Arthur? Yeah, loads of fun. It's been a particularly fun day today. So we have finished what we wanted to finish with the beds. Uh, we got the two main beds in, main roads. I don't know how much Arthur told you about this, but they're about one meter width and about 24 meters long. And here in the middle, we plan on doing rows of potatoes and 
if we have room, maybe carrots, parsnip, something that it's easy, you know, that it doesn't require a lot of, you know, messing around with. And then here at the front, I think Arthur told you, this is where we're going to have the herbs. And then we created this bed over here, which is the second main bed. And just as a symmetry, this is the same as this. That's where the entry to the polytunnel would be, will be. And also here in the middle, this is where our three tier uh, compost is going to be. So we're gonna have, you know, two structures kind of symmetrical. We discussed it and we believe that the compost, this is the best place for the compost because it can't be too far from the garden because you need it for the garden. And uh, it can't be too close to the house either because it does attract rodents and we don't want rodents next to the house or inside the house. So this one here, it's going to be beds with we don't know what yet. And here, as I said, compost and a few beds here at the front because the compost area will, will cover maybe about half, half of the width. And then at the end, after the compost, we're going to have some more beds here and we we don't know yet we haven't we only pencil it down as a thought as maybe we're going to do letters because this is the shady part or the shadiest part of the garden and lettuce doesn't really like direct sunlight anyway and we're going to finish the day by planting the first herbs of our garden. Uh, one is a rosemary plant and the other one is a rosemary plant. This guy here, this is a survival. We actually don't know if he's going to survive. It came with us from two houses ago. I planted it in a pot and it never really did very well in that pot because it was struggling, poor guy. Um, and that happened, I think, about four or five years ago. So it's been in that pot for like five years and moved with us in three different properties. So we decided that it's a survival and it really deserves a chance to be in the nice, secure spot for eternity or for as long as he wants to live. I don't know why I call him he. I don't know, it's rosemary, he, not sure, but anyway, it's a he. And we're going to plant it here in this corner. This is one of the sunniest parts of the, of the garden. We, again, we don't know if we're going to survive or not, but it definitely has its best chance. So I hope not only that you survive, because you survived for so many years, I hope you thrive, Mr. Rosemary. <clears throat> Mr. Rosemary, he says a very special thanks to Ellie. You were such a little plant when I planted you. And now you're a bit of a special needs adult, but hopefully <laughs> you'll recover. And the next rosemary plant, the second one, we, di we didn't really plan on getting two rosemary plants, but our dear neighbor bought one and it looks great. This is a nice youngster. This is a teenager rosemary plant. And um, he, he kind of got ahead of himself because he bought it for himself, but where he lives, it's so windy. And also he has a peacock that seems likes to chew on the herbs and vegetables flowers so, and flowers in particular yeah so um he decided to give it to us and we very happily accepted Here. it so yes mr teenager rosemary plant it's going there okay so if we are lucky we're going to have two beautiful rosemary bushes if not well that we'll have none <laughs> Also the beds because, so you probably already know that, or if it's the first video that you watch, we are adepts of the no dig garden. 
and we've already done that in uh, where we lived on the east coast and here we want to do the same thing the no dig the, therefore the compost area is so important for us but since now we actually don't have compost to begin with and to actually buy compost for this amount it would be incredibly expensive and since Everybody who assisted us in digging here said uh, that we have a very high quality top soil. We have decided to have an experiment. Run an experiment, yes, and actually plant plants uh, without putting the first layer of compost. And by next year, we should have, you know, we're going to start working on our compost. And by next year, we should have, you know, enough to add that those few centimeters that you need to add every year but yeah this year we're going to try it this way uh, except for the potatoes they won't get compost but we think we're going to get straw and we're going to cover them with straw stay tuned if you want to watch that there's a few videos on youtube that's actually how we got the idea to put the straw on top of the potatoes uh, but uh, if you want to watch us do that please do like and subscribe or subscribe, but also please do like. Yeah, it's, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> and leave a comment. We love getting comments. We do love the comments, don't we? We do. <laughs> so, Mr. I'm going to call him Rosemary Junior. And then that's Rosemary Senior. I hope you guys get along and I hope you both thrive. All right. So, the beds are laid out. We haven't got the lavender in. Will we'll we? get there. But now we have to go and visit John. Yeah. I've made tiramisu for John, so I need to go and give it to him. It was his birthday yesterday. It was his birthday yesterday. Yes. All right. Thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe. <laughs> Hope you have a great week, everybody. Bye.